Hi, my name's Liz Nettin. We're going to today we're looking at probability and some examples of tree diagrams. So in this example we're told we've got a box and in the box we have 12 red and 8 green counters. So those are two important pieces of information, all of the same size. So one is drawn and then replaced. So that was just talking about sampling with replacement. So that's important for us to note because that's going to be affect our probabilities. So sampling with replacement. And then they draw a second counter. So let's try and use that information to complete the table. So we've got this tree diagram here and the first section of it here, so this is what I mean by my first section, the f this is talking about dr putting your hand at the box and taking out a counter to start with. So when I do that, I can get either a red or a green um, counter out of the box. Now we were told that there are 12 red and 8 green, so the probability of getting a red is 12 out of the total counters of 20. In terms of the green, we know the probability of green, well there are 8 green counters out of 20 counters in total. So that's my first section. My second section, this is the second event that happens, is we've now we've put our hand in the box, drawn out a counter, put it back, and now we're drawing out a second counter. So now we need to remember we're doing something with replacement, so the probabilities don't change. So that means the probability of a red is still 12 out of 20, and a green is still 8 out of 20. And equally, if I draw a green counter first, I would still have, could get tw there was a chance of 12 out of 20 to get a red one on the next draw, or a probability of 8 out of 20 to get a green one. So what I want to do now is I want to find all the combinations. Okay, So in terms of my probabilities, I could get a red one first, then a red one second. Okay, so t in order to find that red and red, now did you notice I used that word and, red and red, the probabilities that you're going to multiply, you're going along the branches, you're going to multiply. So that's 12 out of 20 times 12 out of 20, which is 0 0.36. That's the first combination. Now the second combination that we could have is that I could get a red counter on the first run and then I could get a green counter the second time. Oh, so I could get red and then green. So the chance of that is, so the chance of a red is 12 out of 20, chance of a green 8 out of 20, multiply those together and we get 0 0.24. So then we look at our third combination. So in this combination I could get a green counter first and then a red counter. So I could get a green then a red. Then the chance of that, so the chance of a green first is 8 out of 20. The chance of a red second is 12 out of 20, I'm going along the branches, and that will give me a probability of 0 0.24. Last combination is I could get, I could have a green counter and then a green counter, so green, green. The chance of that is 8 out of 20 times 8 out of 20, which will give me a probability of 0.16. Now notice if I add those four numbers up, 0.36 plus 0.24 plus 0.24 plus 0.16, that will all add up to 1. Same with each of the branches, pairs adds up to 1. So there's our first step, is creating the table. Now let's have a look at some, sorry, the tree diagram. Now let's have a look at some questions. What is the probability that both counters are red? Okay, so that's talking about the probability of getting a red, then another red. So luckily we've already 
done all the hard work, we can just read this off the table. So red, red is 0 0.36. What is the probability that at least one is counter is green? At least one. What does that mean? At least one means that I could have one counter that is green, or I could have two counters that is green. I couldn't have no counters that are green, but I could have one or more than one. So when we talk about at least, that always means greater than or equal to. So one or more greens. So if we look at our tree diagram, which of these options have got at least one green? So we notice there, we've got this probability has a one green, this probability has one green, and this probability has one green. So I've got three combinations here that have at least one green in them. So I could get a red and a green, or a green and a red, or a green and a green. So there are three different ways that I could get it. Notice the wording that I used. So I was saying probability of a red and then green, or a green and then red, or a green and then a green. Okay, so I'm going to, that's going to be our 0.24 plus 0 0.24 plus 0 0.16, and that will equal. 0.64. And there's our answer. Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to visit my website to see more resources and videos.